Welcome back, all you beautiful people. It is, uh, yeah, it's, there's sun. There's actually a little bit of sun outside, but there is no. And, uh, well, I saw the sun. I saw the sun when I was in my house. I was in my office, and I see the sun coming through the window, and I said, you know what? No, 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 no. This is the time to go for a ride. And that's what I'm doing. Hey, cue the intro. So yeah, I mean, it's like what? Like six degrees outside. It was pouring rain last night, which is a good thing because it melted some of the snow. It was actually quite a bit of snow. A lot of snow. It was snowy. Yeah. Anyway, so today I'm gonna give this cuss of five uh, beautiful things I love about this Ninja 650. And if you don't agree with it, oh well, you can always leave it in the comments and uh, I'll try and respond in kind. Just remember, keep your language clean because I know not everybody agrees with me and, well, I don't care if you don't disagree, you know, if you disagree with me, I don't care. I really don't. All you have to do is be kind, be courteous, get your point across and, uh, you know, we can have a conversation about it. So, yeah, let's go for it. All right, so let's start with number five. Number five being, uh, well, the obvious one, and that is the look of the bike. I think Kawasaki did a beautiful job on the actual design of this bike, and I love it, I really do. I, I just love the way she looks. So number five has to be absolutely the look. I just, I don't know what it is. For a, you know, pretty upright bike, this bike just looks good. And not only from, you know, viewing it away from the bike, but actually just as, you know, watching the cockpit here. <laughs> cockpit. So yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely a beautiful thing to look at. And wow, it's raining. Wow, it's raining. <laughs> it's wet. So yeah, I love the look of this bike. I really do. I think there's just such a, I don't know. There's something about this bike I love. I know not everybody's gonna love the look of the bike. Everybody has their own taste. But number five for me is definitely the look. Number four is gonna be one that I don't typically talk about, but you know what, I'm gonna talk about it this time. For the price of this bike, 4,000, well, sorry, 4,000 something, 5,000 something is the Ninja 300. This 650 is around 8,000, 9,000 dollars, depending on where you are. I'm gonna get my camera so dirty, and this is so wet. Gosh darn it, Whew. I should have gone the other way. Look at that, there's still a ton of snow over here. What am I doing out here riding? So yeah, as I said, it's gonna be the price. The price is a really, really good price point. You're looking at under $10,000 for this bike. And honestly, it is worth every penny of it. It really is. You got torque, you got power, plenty. Especially if you're looking around the cities and you know, riding around the cities and so forth and so on. I really don't like these wet roads. It is important, for some people the price is gonna be their deciding factor. And you know, if you're moving up and you're looking at something to upgrade to, well, you know what, the price on this bike is just really, really good. So yeah, I'm gonna say number four for sure, the price. Who's gonna disagree with me? Almost everybody. I must be out of my mind. Look at that, all that snow, holy. And what am I doing? I'm riding my motorcycle. Because, you know, I got nothing better to do? No! It's because I got a YouTube channel. I need the views, boys and girls. No, I don't. I just love the fact that I can go out and ride. Because, you know, I love riding. And if I got a chance, I always go for a ride. I actually want to take the Ninja 300 out for um, a little snow day run. But then, well, there's a few people that convinced me that was not a good idea. And I said, you know what, it's a 300. The worst thing that can happen, I might, like, tip it over or something. But, nope. I decided against it because, well, mainly my wife and a few other people said that's just a silly thing to do. All right, so let's get back to the list. Uh, number three. Well, number three has to be all the little information I get on this guy. I got a fuel gauge. I got a temperature gauge. I got pretty much everything I need on here. I mean, the fact is, it's not, you don't have a ton of settings on this bike. It's not like a super sport or a little bike, but it, it is a wonderful thing to have you know you a gear indicator and so forth and so on you get a lot of things out of this bike and again for that price range and for what it is this bike actually gives you a ton now the gauges it, you know it matters just for me personally I love the fuel gauge I love the temperature gauge 
the gear well i don't know i we were talking about this with my wife i don't know if the gear indicator is really all that important but it's nice to have it when you when you know when you want it you may not need it all the time you may not want it all the time but it's nice to have it it's nice to be there you know just in case you do have average uh, kilometers like your consumption and all that stuff in there too and of course the clock which well i use the clock because you know I do things and I have uh, time constraints. I gotta deal with this and deal with that. Yeah, shove all that snow right in my path. How dare you, dude? But good job on doing it though. A lot of people don't clean their sidewalks. If you live in an area where there's snow, clean the darn sidewalk, people. All right, so let's get to number two. Number two, I would have to say, is the stance on this bike. The positioning you get on this bike is wonderful. It's upright, it gives you a real nice feel, it gives you a nice firm grip of the tank, everything else. Now, I am five foot six inches, so yes, I am a short dude. I'm definitely not like six foot four, like uh, six foot four horned, but I am a short dude, five foot six, and it gives me a really good chance to grip the tank, keep myself very very stable on this bike the positioning just the positioning you're in works really for all the different scenarios you might want to be in if you want to go into a tuck it's not hard to go into a tuck not that i would ever want to because i'm a good boy and i don't go nuts <laughs> sure and um but yeah you get a lot of good little positions that you can actually sit your behind on the way you can move on this bike it's easy every little detail is very very easy Ooh. Every little detail is very easy on this bike. Sitting on this bike is just comfortable. Going on a highway, going on the streets, exploring, whatever you want to do, this bike makes it easy. And that is a big thing, guys. It really is. How you feel on the bike, the position that you're on the bike, it just makes sense. The positioning on the handlebars, I personally think is wonderful. I know many of you guys are gonna disagree with this, um, especially if you're a sport bike rider. Hey, you got an R1. Uh, you can you're not gonna compare it to this and so if you're gonna comment don't give me don't don't compare this bike to an R1 <laughs> okay <laughs> or an H2 no put it in its category for what it is and for what it is for this category this is actually an amazing bike it really is all right so we got positioning out of the way so what can possibly be number one hey it is Popo and he's blocking oh okay he's giving somebody she she is giving somebody a ticket a BMW driver, come on, dude. You're making me look bad. I love my BMW car, and everybody makes comments about it. Oh, you're just probably one of those other BMW drivers. I am not. I'm actually a pretty good, uh, very good driver, if I may say so myself. So what is the number one, the first, the best thing I love about this bike? Well, that's easy. My favorite thing about this bike, boys and girls, is how she maneuvers. It's all the little things. They really add up on this bike. It's really, really easy to, uh, you know, going from the 300, the 300 is a nimble, nimble little bike, and so is this, uh, except it's not as little. <laughs> it is a 600cc bike, so, you know, 650, but it is, in some ways, I would have to say it is as nimble, or at least very close to the Ninja 300, and if you know anything about the Ninja 300, then you know that is a very, very nimble bike. This thing just feels good, doesn't matter how you put it, it just feels good overall. The brakes are very good on it, I have no complaints, and acceleration is good on this bike, but it's just a fun, fun bike to play with, and that's not something you can say about, about too, too many bikes. It because she's very nimble and you can move her around a little, you know, go on bends, no problem. And it, it just has a little bit of everything that just makes this bike come together as one. And, you know, I can go into a lot of details about what, what are some of, you know, the, those best things about it. But honestly, it is just, it's an all around good bike. And when I say all around, I mean, she's got the pickup. So the acceleration is very good on this bike. The torque, the power, definitely a good thing. But it's the control, you know, I have a little bit of a dry patch here and it's just that little flickability you can play with. You can just play with this bike and it, it adds up. It really makes it be that much more fun. And without having too much of that power that you can never ever use, now the ZX6R was the was the bike that I was looking at if I didn't get this bike. The problem with the ZX6R is in all honesty, I could not possibly use 
that bike to its fullest extent. And I'm not even convinced I could use this bike to its fullest extent. The speed limits here are pretty low and the risk is too high for me to lose my license if I'm going to do something silly. And even worse, the risk is too high for killing myself. But the bike has enough, it gives me enough that I can have fun and reach the topper, the, the, the higher end of her capabilities without really having any major issues. Now I don't have a lot of experience guys, I really don't. I am out probably about seven or 8,000 kilometers in my lifetime. But I feel comfortable on this bike and I feel very comfortable riding this bike. Granted, I took those seven, 8,000 kilometers to learn everything I can about the bike. Everything, I, what it takes for me to handle this bike, what I have to do to understand the bike and so forth and so on. But I feel very comfortable even on a crummy day like this, it's not bad for me. I don't feel um, like the bike can't handle it or that I can't handle the bike. Now with the 650, one of the beautiful things is, like I said, it's nimbleness. It's, she's very nimble. She's able to just kind of give you that little bit of extra uh, cushion, a little bit of extra power when you need it. So it's nice to have a bike that is, that kind of has a little bit of everything when you need it, as you need it. So yeah, this is, this is it. This is, that's all I got to say about it. If you ever are looking at a 2017 or a 2018 Ninja 650, I'm telling you it's worth going out for a test ride. If nothing else, don't you don't have to get it, but go for a test ride. She is a wonderful, wonderful bike. The upright positioning or get down and have a little fun. You know, you run into hills, you run into anything, the bike can handle majority of the situations. Are you gonna go up and race your buddy's R1 or are you gonna go up and race an H2? Of course not. You're not odds are you're not gonna race a 636. <laughs> but she is perfect for every other little things around you. I get a lot of questions about this bike. I get a ton of questions on <laughs> on our channel, especially. Uh, People are not convinced that it's a 650, should you, should you not get it? And I'm going to tell you guys what I tell everyone else. I think I even sent the motor carrier this comment. Take this bike for a ride, it will surprise you. It is a quite, quite an amazing bike actually. I'm, I'm shocked myself and I think it was one of the, it was a great purchase. I have zero regrets when it comes to buying this bike. It was a wonderful purchase. So that's it. Those were my five top five things. Plus you gotta just got a little bonus in there. And that's it. You know, that's all I gotta say. Now I'm gonna go ride around a little bit, enjoy this because I have not a, been able to ride for a little bit. And uh, so yeah, don't forget to, well, love, ride, explore. Thank you very much. We are, you guys know we love you. Till next time, goodbye. And uh, see ya.